Hey, what's up, guys? It's Scares here, and today I have my top five underrated players. Yes, that's right, guys. We're coming up with another episode of this. I did promise you guys that if we did get over 10,000 likes, I would do another one of these very, very soon. And we got like 17,000 likes. That's so crazy, guys. I can't believe we did that. Let's see if we can try to get another 10,000 likes for this episode. If I want to make another one, that would definitely be awesome. And I know a lot of you guys really support this series, so I spent a long time looking through responses. I even had a few people help me out. I want to give a big shout out to, you know, Calibers, Raves, Dasher, and there was a few other people who did help me out a lot. So everyone who did help me out looking through them, that's definitely awesome because I had like thousands of responses. It was just crazy. It was so much work. So definitely be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video if you guys do enjoy this series because honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to make another one. I mean, these are so fucking hard to make and they take such a long time. But if you guys do want to submit your own responses, make sure you guys use the Google Docs form in the description down below and let's get right into these responses. So we had a bunch of crazy responses this week and I could not not actually share like all the responses but there is at least 20 responses that I thought were insane it just really sucks man because I can only share with you guys five responses for this but for the number five spot we have spicy penny here and the reason why I put this guy in is because I know he's underrated I think most of you guys have heard of him before though he does have a good amount of subscribers he almost has 10,000 subscribers so I didn't want to put him in like a very high spot but obviously he makes some great fucking videos he's a very very good personality uh, he's really good friends with Gandhi actually and sometimes he pisses off Gandhi and stuff but he makes some really funny videos with Gandhi like I remember watching the AFK experiment and he did some really funny stuff in there and he's had some other really funny videos on his channel so I really wanted to put him in there he's definitely an awesome awesome guy and for the number four spot with only 300 subscribers we have a guy named Aquila this guy is a sniper and he hit some crazy clips here he got a rolling five on headshot to start it off that's fucking awesome man and you only had one main gamer tag in this entire response which is something you don't see every day with uh, like really really small players most of the time they'll change your gamer tag a lot but this guy really kept to one gamer tag and that's fucking crazy man like obviously he's super consistent you guys just saw a triple headshot collat on express what the fuck that's not something you see every day and that clip too a swap quad headshot feed on express like express clips are really fucking good because usually it's hard to get people like in a spawn trap and stuff and for this next clip here, we have a raid ACOG site quad headshot feed, which is something you don't see every day as well. And he had so many really awesome clips. Plus, he doesn't have like any subscribers. I mean, 300 subscribers is some, but it's still crazy to see that he's hitting clips like this and he doesn't have like at least a thousand subscribers and he's in a pretty big team. Like, he's not even really in a huge team or anything. So, that's awesome to see that he obviously is coming out with some good clips. I think this is the last clip of his response. He gets a triple, runs over here, and gets the single with the ACOG site. So, that's fucking awesome man i really would like to see a lot more acog site clips i love looking at that site and for the number three spot we have graph here this guy is actually a knifer i'm pretty sure he's in like a team called axis right now which was a team that was in my underrated teams before so that's awesome to see that he's in an underrated team as well and uh, this is a very very good clip to start off here uh, i think he does have an l7 gamer tag on some of these clips but that's just because uh, he's a former l7 i'm pretty sure like they kicked the knifers or something uh, there's some beef with that i'm not really too sure about that but he is an underrated team so he's not like he's in like a big team or anything and it's really cool to see black ops one tomahawk clips like that's something you don't see every day and actually the number one spot is a surprise but he does have some black ops one clips as well and it's really weird i got so many tomahawk responses for this one like a ton of xjmx members had some crazy responses there was a lot of tomahawk trick shooters who went for this and i didn't think there was that many in the community like i didn't think it was that big a deal so it's awesome to see some tomahawk trick shooters come out for this response and this clip was pretty sick as well he had some really really creative clips in this one and i love seeing creativity you guys know i'm a sucker for creativity like anything creative with your response be sure to show it off because that's definitely something i look for with these i've actually seen a few creative responses for this one and i just i didn't put them in this one that's just because obviously like there were so many responses this time i'm pretty sure there's gonna be less for the next one so i would definitely submit it now and for the number two spot we have mavo here this guy's not in like a huge team or anything he doesn't have that many subscribers and he's a really consistent player man like this was a 10 minute response i had to cut it so short but he had so many ridiculous fucking clips on this response like this guy's definitely a potential recruit for red honestly this first clip here actually is from uh, my top five plays too like he actually got my top five plays a few times and that one was a 2160 yemen ladder stall and this next clip here actually reminds me of mjd this is a fucking crazy carrier ladder stall. he had two running mans on that as well holy 
fuck, dude. That was crazy. And he has a couple other really, really sick clips in here. I wasn't able to share with you guys all the clips. And also, he did hit this, which is a fucking wall bang triple headshot clash. Jesus Christ, dude. That's crazy, especially because he's a trick shotter. He had something like that. Obviously, it's just luck, but that's still awesome that he hit a clip like that. And this clip right here is pretty sick as well. This is the raid tree suicide. And he only has one more shot in this actual, like, snippet of his response. But, like I said, he does have a lot more clips, and honestly, it sucks, because I'm not able to share all these fucking sick clips from him. Like, towards the end of his response, he has some really, really nice clips as well, and it's just, it's fucking awesome seeing, like, super underrated players actually hit some crazy, crazy stuff. This guy's probably my favorite sniper trick shotter when it comes to underrated players. Uh, the next one you guys will see, I really like this guy, because he is extremely creative. At the number one spot, we have Bernie here. This guy did just join Red. You guys are about to hear his reaction. But uh, this guy's super creative, man. So he's a Black Ops 1 Tomahawk Trick Shotter. I know that's fucking awesome. But at the same time, like, he does super creative stuff on Black Ops 1. Like, you could tell, like, he just did, like, a can swap there. And obviously, a lot of his shots have, like, max and stuff. And I don't know, man. Like, it's really sick to see a Trick Shotter like this come out with some crazy, crazy shots. I mean, holy shit. Like, the amount of stuff he did in this shot. I know some of you guys are going to say, oh, well, this is not distance and stuff. But you have to understand what he was actually trying to go for. Especially having that not be set up is... It's really really like original like that's something I have not seen before someone like not set up and hit a crazy crazy like creative shot like that and that's definitely something I like seeing it's just weird like I've never seen trick shutters that are like super complex on black ops 1 especially not setting up and stuff like it just seems nearly impossible it really does uh, but this guy was able to hit a ton of crazy crazy clips doing it so I definitely wanted to pick him up like I could not believe he's able to hit stuff like this and just trying to go for this stuff like I've tried this before and I just can never get my timing on and like I can't even do it in the first place I fucking suck at you know trying all this complex stuff on black ops 1 but uh, it's awesome to see him do stuff like this and uh, Jesus Christ Dude, this guy's a fucking beast. I'm really happy to have him in the team, and you guys are about to hear his reaction soon. Uh, it's actually pretty funny. I did just pick him up right then and there. He didn't even believe me at first, but that's usually what happens with underrated players. They're like super, super happy at like being picked up. He also has a few more clips. If you guys actually want to check out his full response, it will be linked in the description down below as well as everyone else's. And hopefully, you guys do enjoy this reaction. I'll see you guys later. Uh, yo, yo, want to join Red? You're lying. I'm not lying. <laughs> dude, that's bullshit. I do not believe you. <laughs> nah, dude, seriously. Do you want to join Red? Um, I'm trusting you on this. You are, you're not lying. I'm not lying at all. Holy shit, man. That's so sick. Yo, no, uh, no problem, man. You won my underrated dude, players. That's fucking sick. Jesus Christ, man. That's fucking sick. So that's going to end off my top five underrated players. That's right, guys. We came out with another episode of this stuff. If you guys do enjoy this at all, leave a like. I know I said it in the beginning of the video, but like I said, this took so long to make. It took at least eight hours to make the video. So it definitely would mean a lot if this did get some support. And also, if you guys do want to submit your own underrated players response, make sure you go submit them in the Google Docs form in the description down below. Try not to submit it more than once because that usually gets us annoyed. And then we'll just click off your response because I think someone submitted his response at like 400 times before and i was just like nah i'm not gonna put this guy in because it was really really annoying so only submit it once guys and make sure you submit it down below and that's really it guys make sure you're subscribed and you like this video and stuff like that and uh, there also is going to be a full place in the description if you want to check out any of my other underrated players you could also check out the other two videos on the screen here my previous video is pretty fucking awesome dude it's actually talking about like a crazy murder article and stuff and then i also talk about the whole fat shaming situation with nicole arbor and you can check out my video too subscribe if you don't i'll see you later peace